What's going on guys? It's Kate from Beyond the Box back with a brand new video and today I'm taking a look at a highly anticipated product I've been looking to get my hands on for a few weeks. I'm just going to skip the introduction. You guys already know why we're here. We're taking a look at the Xbox wireless headset. Xbox promises this headset to be light, comfortable, and able to be worn all day because this does have a 15 hour battery so it has to be comfortable otherwise it's not going to be wearable and the really great thing about this headset in particularly is it gives you the ability to connect to your pc and your phone at the same time for something like that actually let's take a look at the back really quick now actually before we get into that i did uh pick this up at best buy it was the only one available because it's a highly anticipated product it was the only one i was able to get my hands on for a while so this is the only one we were able to review but they said actually had no damage or nothing wrong with it they said they just didn't like it and the condition was excellent so let's see what's on the back so you can actually connect directly to your xbox for high fidelity sound connect to your mobile devices through 4.2 bluetooth for wireless chat and music. It's actually really cool. They have a slider on the right side that allows you to uh, hear the difference between uh, game versus chat, kind of like if you had a mix amp with Astro. Crystal clear chat, eliminate background noise with voice isolation and auto mute. That's cool, we're gonna get into that a little bit later. And customize your fit, flexible, lightweight, and glasses friendly. So you guys and gals out there that wear glasses, this is gonna be comfortable for you guys. Now, like I said, this should be a comfortable fit because this is gonna last you for 15 hours, which is a lot of time for a gaming headset. Now, these are already been used, but this is basically gonna be the unboxing experience that you're gonna get when you first receive it. And all you're gonna find in the box is a USB Type-C and nothing else. So like I said, this does connect directly to your Xbox, but it allows for Bluetooth directly for all your other devices. And they promise it to be seamlessly switchable between devices, so that should be really great. So let's just take a look at the comfort itself for the headset. It seems pretty good quality for $100. By the way, this is $100, so just keep that in mind later for the audio test, it is $100. But for $100, these feel really nice and sturdy. You can tell that they used a more like a cushiony memory foam for the ear cups and the headband is a little bit stricter, a little bit more cushiony, because it's supposed to be kept on your head for eight to 10 hours at a time, probably at least, right? That's a short session for you guys. On the head, they feel really good and really comfortable. These are super comfortable. When I wear any other headset, the strap always hurts me in about an hour, and within two hours, I wanna take it off. Hopefully, it's really cushiony for a long time, because this is great. So the right side of the headset is actually going to be a dial that allows you to dictate whether the game volume is louder or your chat audio is louder. So you can connect this to a PC if you're streaming and you're gonna be able to hear your chat or your game depending on what you want. It's just like a mix amp built into the earpiece, which is really cool. That's probably the coolest feature on the headset. Um, what is this green button? Is that the power button? Ooh, it is the power button. It just made a whole sound. Check, 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 check. Is the noise isolation on? Maybe I just need to connect these to a device so I can see what that noise isolation is like. Okay, let's see if we can find. Oh, perfect, it just popped up at the bottom of my phone. I didn't even have to press any buttons. Okay, so now it's connected and paired to my phone, which is great. Oh my goodness. The bass is insane on these. But everything seems kind of drowned out besides the bass, I'm not gonna lie. Check, check, check. Yeah, I don't know when the noise isolation turns on, but so far I don't hear anything. I mean, I don't hear any noise isolation. At least it doesn't sound like it. I mean, I can hear my snaps pretty well. The cool thing about this headset is it actually has two mics, one on the inside and one on the outside. This one's gonna pick up your little sister first and it's gonna rebound it and it's gonna say, hey, that's probably not something we wanna put into the headset microphone. So it's gonna deny that audio and it's going to see that you don't want that when you speak. So it's gonna only keep this side audio. And pretty much what's really cool about this is depending on the sound that you make, whether you're talking or you just cough really quickly, the mic is gonna shut off after a few seconds. A few seconds after you're talking and maybe like one second after you're coughing. That's what I've read online. So we're gonna test that out a little later when we go and connect these to the Xbox. What's cool about these is you can't pull these down anymore when you put them on your head. Say for whatever reason you bumped your headset and it pushed the ear cups down. You can't push them up, you can't pull them down. 
they stay locked in place even if the slider moves. I'm not really sure how I like the microphone because I don't like knowing that it's not there. I can't really see it. See, I'm looking in my monitor and I can't see the microphone right here. Can't see it up here and I can't see it down here. So I honestly don't know if it's working or not when I'm not meaning to. Maybe, I don't know if it automatically turns off the microphone when you push it up. Doesn't look like it. Probably not. Oh, there we go. That, the button on the bottom is actually the microphone mute. So that's gonna be the button that turns off your, uh, your light on the microphone. That's helpful. The, probably my biggest gripe with this headset so far has got to be the bendability. I honestly feel like I'm gonna break it. Ooh, I really feel like I'm gonna break it. It's not, it doesn't feel too, too good when you try to bend it like this. The headband at the top feels sturdy, but this just feels like if you snapped it, you could easily snap it, you twist it too hard. I mean, there's not much leeway to go up and down. Like I'm trying to go up and down and it's barely moving, trying to make the cups go side to side like this. Uh, not, not everybody's heads can fit this shape easily enough. And honestly, your experience may vary depending on your head shape. Cause to be honest, I didn't have much of a rounder face. Like I wanted to like basically turn my ear cups to a certain direction. Yeah, let's go back to the audio test. Okay, the noise isolation is on when the game is on, but it's not on at all when the headset is off. Most other headsets these days usually have noise isolation automatically turned on, even if sound isn't playing. Take yourself a picture when I'm standing at the mound and I swear it's going down. I'm just repping for my town. So the bass is really good, I'm not gonna lie. I love the bass, but it kind of drowns out everything else. Let's go put on some singing type of music. Wow, the audio is fantastic. I hope the audio is just as good when we connect it to an Xbox because this, the music quality playback is phenomenal. Now, the only thing left to do in the video is to connect the headset to an Xbox, but I don't own an Xbox. So we're gonna take this headset and another headphone to compare the Razer Opus uh, to my friend Hannah's house and we're going to compare what they sound like. I'll see you when I get there. So we got it trying to search for the console. There we go. The pairing button is on the far left of the console. Okay, it's easily connected now. As soon as you press the sync button, it easily connects. I can't tell if the game audio is breaking every five seconds or it's the headphones, but it feels like there's static. It feels like it's breaking up every few seconds. I can't tell if this is the game or the headset. Okay, so we restarted the game and we're gonna see what the sound sounds like this time. It doesn't have that staticky sound that it did a few seconds ago. Okay, now that the headphones are actually working the way that they're supposed to, they actually sound pretty fantastic. You turn it counterclockwise to turn the game volume down, turn it clockwise to turn the game volume up. It's currently at max volume. What the hell? Yeah, the sound is actually pretty damn good. Really damn good. For $100, this is really damn good. I don't know why there was that static a few seconds ago when we were trying it the first time, but now we don't have that issue anymore. I just wish we could play some Warzone. Sadly, her Xbox Live has ran out, so we can't connect to anything online. The noise isolation sounds pretty damn good too. I wanna to compare these sets of headphones to my favorite pair of headphones, the Razer Opus. Yeah, maybe the Xbox headset is actually a little bit better than the Opus right now. I actually think that was a little bit better. Wow. I'm surprised. I'm actually quite shocked at that. I'm pretty happy with it, actually. Uh, besides the build quality, just making it feel like it's a little, it's gonna break on the sides, everything besides that, pretty great. All right, guys, that's my review of the Xbox wireless headset. Unfortunately, we didn't get to play any Call of Duty or Warzone or anything like that because my friend didn't have Xbox Live. I don't have an Xbox, I only have a PlayStation 5. So I'm giving my best review possible just listening to GTA 5. But minus the static that I was hearing in the headphones, I don't think it was actually the headphones problem. I think it was probably an in-game connection problem with the headphones. Really, the Razer Opus did the exact same thing, so I'm just expecting it was a game Xbox issue. So try to take it with a grain of salt. One more thing I forgot to do before I sign off here. I wanna make sure we get this microphone checked out because I'm sure a lot of you wanna know what that sounds like. So I'm recording my voice with the Xbox wireless headset um, and that's all I'm using. Not my microphone, nothing else, just the headset itself. The mic is nothing amazing, but for $100, it's not bad. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much the review. That's everything that we needed to cover. We got the sound, we got the comfort, we got the microphone. I just wish we could play some Call of Duty with it, but 
With that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was an honest review, so make sure if you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash that thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. We're giving away an Oculus Quest 2 at 20,000 subscribers, guys. So make sure you guys subscribe and hit that bell icon so you always know every time I post a video. I'm going to sign off, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.